in Paris, you have many beautiful moments to take it in photo. So the best way to take a photo, you have Montmartre. <music> My friend Najib is right. Montmartre is arguably the most photographable section of Paris. I got more memorable photos here than anywhere else in the City of Light. This is how you might imagine the Paris of yesteryear with the cobbled streets, strolling sketch artists, the stunning Sacre Coeur Church, the view from the top of the mountain. If you remember the 2001 movie Amelie, you'll recognize Montmartre. It was filmed here. The area has a special place in Paris history as an artist's gathering place since the 19th century. It was once home to many legendary artists who are still on display at the local museum right here. To show us around, I met up with my newfound friend, Nico. He works as a product manager for the Flipboard Social Magazine based in Paris. He was born and bred in Montmartre and knows every nook and cranny of the area, which is in the 18th district of Paris. Welcome to Montmartre. Yes. This is one of the best views of Paris. Yeah, right it's, here. it's one of the best view from, uh, from the top. I mean, you can climb, climb the Eiffel Tower, uh, but you wouldn't see the Eiffel Tower. So when you climb the Montmartre, you know, you'd see the Eiffel Tower and you see Notre Dame, you see everything actually, you're on top of, it's really the top of Paris. Uh, I've heard that uh, this is Place du Tertre. So Place du Tertre is uh, very famous, like as the artistic cliché of Montmartre. That's where people, you know, used to come to get uh, uh, their face drawn up and uh, so yeah, this is, but no, it's mostly a restaurant. The, the, the well, you do have progressively all yeah. they got rid of the painters on the on the on the square. Okay, but there's one, two, three. They're four. on the sides okay. now, but yeah. they used to be on the square. So now it's yeah, it's it's even smaller to walk around. Okay, but, there's a uh, lot of people right now. So if you want to come to to this area, what do you recommend to people? Uh, Should they come I would here recommend early night, winter, snow. All kidding aside, early mornings here are indeed awesome, but you'll also definitely want to come for sunsets, despite the crowds, because you get to see some of the best views of Paris that you'll see anywhere. The main attraction is right across from the church, where street performers do their thing for the crowds. Watch this artist climb up the pole with a soccer ball and spin it. What you won't see from this vantage point is the Eiffel Tower, but to do so, Continue up the street and prepare to climb up a wall for your photo, like I did. And now a quick word from our sponsor, Smug Mug. Thank you, Smug Mug, for supporting Photo Walks TV. As many of you know, I've been a happy customer of Smug Mug for over 15 years. Many reasons why. Today I want to talk about backup. I'm here in Paris shooting thousands of photos. And every night when I go to sleep, those photos are going straight up to Smug Mug. Courtesy of the Smug Mug app, there's an auto iOS feature in it. There's also, if you have an Android phone, an auto Android feature. And everything just goes automatically up while I am sleeping. Cool thing, because if I was going to lose the phone, I'd lost all my images. So I could sleep a lot better. Thank you, Smug Mug. Free two-week trial, smugmug.com. Please check it out. We spoke to Nico about his tips for navigating Montmartre. I would say uh, try to find places, you know, that are not too crowded, of course. Try to get lost. I mean, the best advice in any city somehow is, uh, you know, try to get lost and find your own spot, your own sense of, uh, you know, don't trust Instagram. <laughs> that's, that's the idea. Yeah. So here you got many... Like, no, it's quiet actually, because people are having lunch. So lunchtime wouldn't, at some, you know, in some places, uh, lunchtime suddenly the streets just go empty, like a bit here actually. It was much more crowded like half an hour ago. So yeah, there's no, the advice is really follow your eyes. Let me show you what my eyes saw. Let's begin with the one of a kind, unique architecture of the homes. Some of them as old as 200 years. Love those slanted streets and tiny alleys. The views from the top of the mountain, day or night. The crowds that gather to see the sunset. 
the sketch artists, the singing in the streets, the quiet streets, the Amelie sightings, including the grocery store and the cafe where she worked, all those bistros, cafes, and berets. I caught a lot of them. Those giant steps up. And speaking of steps, kudos to my wife Ruth for catching this. When we got off the metro, we were warned about the 181 steps we had to climb for the exit. I huffed and puffed all the way up. She took her time taking photos of the amazing artwork that adorned our torturous climb. Meanwhile, what's it like to walk around the area? Well, here's a clip shot on my Insta360 X3 camera of the scene. So I love your advice. Come to a city and get lost. Walk the streets. Don't take the cliche shots. Just let your mind and your eyes wander. Exactly. And uh, when we get lost, as we obviously did now, you end up in a very quiet place, and, uh, which is quite funny because all around it's filled up with tourists. And here, actually, you can hear uh, the buzz almost. So yeah, every city is like that. When you go to Venice, same thing, my advice, you know, run away from the tourists, just get lost and you'll find yourself in an empty street and, well, it might take a, bit, a, a while to come back because uh, it's obviously a city uh, you can very easily get lost, but Paris is a bit the same. You know, you just uh, see a small lane, something, get in. Uh, there's a door open in the building, well, just check in, there might be a nice garden, you know, especially in some district like Saint-Germain. So, yeah, that's my advice. And hopefully you'll find great photos of those open doors. Exactly. Well, thank you for showing us around. Well, you're welcome, and uh, welcome back anytime. Okay. I mean, Paris is waiting for you guys. <laughs> Just in the winter, uh, in the evening. Yeah, yeah, and when it snows. And when it snows. And you'll right. find the place totally empty. <laughs> Stay tuned for more photo walks.